Goose Fraba. Greetings, children of toy planet dating. I'm Toy Insanity, and this is Fortnite Friday. Friday, November 1st. In these parts, they call it the Day of the Dead. Dia de los Muertos. Today, we're going to have a very relaxed, very calm, chill stream. Nothing exciting here. Nothing outrageous. We're just going to be looking at my favorite figure in his various forms. I do intentionally say figure instead of character or skin or outfit. Because, you know, I'm not even a gamer. I'm Toy Insanity, the non-gamer. Toy Insanity, the toy collector. It's true. We're going to check out the various versions of Skull Trooper that have appeared so far in all the toy lines. So let's get started. This is the plush from Russ, owned by Jazzwares. This is the McFarlane figure. McFarlane owned by McFarlane. Todd McFarlane. Comic book fame, spawn fame. I think I got two or three of the regular version of that figure. So there's your regular version. He's got the white skull cap. Now check it out. Walgreens got that glow in the dark version. The face glows in the dark, but all the painting on his suit used to be green. I've had this only a few months and the green in it has faded. I assume it still might glow, but you can't even tell it's green. It has faded. The paint on the body has faded to look exactly like the paint on the dominant regular figure. However, his face is molded from a different type of plastic, so his face does still look different. It will glow, but notice, most notably it looks different because he has a black scully cap instead of the white. That's our McFarlane figure. Funko has made a glow in the dark. Skull Trooper. It was a Walmart exclusive. And then surely I brought a regular. Well, that's the glow in the dark one. They made no distinction except in the plastic on the head. And honestly, I never checked to see if the paint on the body. See, with action figures, there's different plastics, then there's different paints. I assume they painted the body with a glow-in-the-dark paint in addition to making the head a glow-in-the-dark plastic. But in ordinary daylight or the light in your room, you're not going to tell a difference. I always recommend when you're making a glow-in-the-dark variant, especially with Funko Pops, you, you make some of the paint different too. Why couldn't have I, his eyes been bright green or something? So they would still look different there on your shelf. So that's Funko Pop. Funko has done about five different Fortnite lines. They did this one called Vinyl, V-N-Y-L, which did not get... It got four figures total, not a Skull Trooper. And they did a line called Five Star, which had five figures, not a Skull Trooper. So I wish there had been a Skull Trooper in those two Funko lines. But then they did two more. They did the Pocket Pop, which is a dramatically scaled down version of the regular Pop. And they did the Pint Size Hero. Another tiny figure. They have not done Vinyl, Five Star, or Mystery Minis for any of the Fortnite characters. Now, I included one of these. If you look at my playlist, you know I've done this with several figures. I'll take the Pocket Pop body. 
Well, let's start over. I'll take the pocket pop head and put it on the regular pop body. Just from those two figures. And to me, it looks like a more rational, head-spaced figure. There you go. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's Funko. We're done with Funko. Let's see what's up with Moose. Moose has done the Skull Trooper. You know I have like 50 of these. It's my favorite. I brought maybe three in here. But that's your Moose figure. You want to see something else? Very interesting. I put the Moose head on the Pocket Pop body. So you get a very, very cute very minuscule skull trooper jazz wears baby I think I got the regular jazz wears skull trooper four inch line I got three of him not gonna go crazy and get 50 but I got three because for one thing I might want to make variants I could very easily make a whole rainbow Talking red, orange, yellow, blue, all the colors. It would be very easy to modify and customize this figure for the rainbow. But they did, in fact, do a glow green, which has not faded. So we do have a glow green from Jazzwares, four inch line. And then Jazzwares also did what's called the Legendary Series. This guy's definitely cramped in here. But Skull Trooper in the Legendary series, they only did purple. Will they do the regular? And will they do a purple in the 4-inch line? Now this guy, here's a little trick or treat for you. Happy Day of the Dead. Dia de los Muertos. This looks a lot like a Skull Trooper. And it stands to reason he is the original influence for the Skull Trooper. This is Johnny Lawrence, okay? He's from NECA and the movie series Karate Kid. We can all see the resemblance and how they got their inspiration. Now what's interesting about this figure, I've had him only a couple months. And the fabric is leaching a little bit of color from the body, I guess. This white fabric is taking on a little bit of a pink. What are you going to do? Rounding on Jazzwares, we got the 4-inch line, the 6-inch line called Legends, and then we have this super tall minimum articulation line. This is called the Victory Series. Legendary Series, Victory Series. I don't typically like that size of action figure. But I do like that I have Skull Trooper in that line. Just a couple more. There's another uh, Moose figure. We get the Zuru figures. These start out as keychains. I'm going to turn them into Christmas ornaments. Skull Trooper and Skull Ranger. Skull Ranger, we all know, is coming out in the 4-inch line. I have not found it yet. So the first Skull Ranger for me. Of course, there are Skull Trooper and Skull Ranger in the trading cards by Panini. Shout out to Panini. Shout out to my trading card buddies. But the first actual figure of Skull Ranger goes to Zuru. Oh, another Moose figure. There's another Moose figure. And check this out. I got a bootleg. Boot leg figure it kind of fills a gap here if you're gonna look at size and scale so that bootleg is between the moose figure and the four inch jazzwares figure final thing in here is the bitty boomer i can't remember who made these but it is a miniature speaker for all the objects you need audio to come out of Check the Fortnite playlist. I've done cust I've done a lot of uh, Skull Trooper heads on various pop bodies. 
you can check that out. And long ago, I even showed you this guy. Well, that's a Jimmy figure that I modified with the Skull Trooper Funko Pop head. Ran the wiring and made that little mashup. I'm Toy Insanity. Be sure to mash up that like button. And I'll see you guys next Friday. Have a great weekend and a wonderful week. Fortniters, Fort Nuts, Fort Ninjas. Bye-bye.